Hey, what's going on everyone? Before we jump into today's video, just wanted to give a big shout out to all of you for subscribing because I just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Just really wanted to give a big thank you to everyone for subscribing and following along my journey with the kayak build, my fishing and everything. You know, I made a goal last year to try and document my journey as far as fishing in general, but of course a kayak. So I won't take much of your time. I appreciate you all for watching my videos, subscribing of course, and let's jump right into it. Hmm. We got a trailer. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Like I said, we got a trailer to haul this kayak around. Super excited for this next build for this channel. It's gonna be a fun one. This trailer I ended up picking up from an old buddy of mine for a couple hundred bucks and there's a lot of nice features on it. It's gonna be a good starting point for this build. My plan for this build is to keep it relatively cheap but make sure that it is fully functional. We're gonna invest a little bit of money just to make sure that it's done correctly but the goal is to not dump a whole bunch of this. Make sure that it's functional, safe, and reliable on the road. Travel up and down highways going 70 miles per hour all the time. So I do wanna make sure that this thing holds up. Overall, I will say it's in good condition definitely going to be doing a makeover on some of the things on this trailer just so that it can be convenient for when i use it to tow this kayak around so in this video we're going to be going over some of the things that i planned for it give you guys a walk through the trailer kind of the reason why i picked this one specifically and of course an inside of some videos to come with that being said let's jump right into it ever since i got this kayak i've been looking around trying to find the right trailer and was able to find this one on Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, the trailer is in overall good shape. It's not perfect. Definitely a few things that I need to do to it, but overall, I like it. You know, it's all like a semi-gloss black, which honestly I was gonna paint whatever trailer I get black anyways. Uh, there's, you know, just a few bumps and bruises everywhere, nothing crazy, but overall, frame is solid, which is what's important. The reason why I didn't have this in the garage when I was doing my last walkthrough of the kayak is because it actually had a metal post here. So you can see right here, I actually had to grind it out, had my pops actually help me do that because he had a grinder wheel. So we were able to cut that post off or else this kayak could not have went as far as it did. I do have a photo from when I picked it up, so I'll drop it right here and you'll see where that post was. This trailer previously used to be for a jet ski, so that's the reason why they had that post. So we cut that off, now it's good. While searching for a trailer, I really didn't want to get just your actual typical jet ski trailer. They're always so narrow, so short, didn't have a long enough tongue. And this one is a little bit wider than the kayak. The trailer is about 13 feet long and 42 inches wide. It gives it just plenty enough room where if I wanted to do a tower system, I could weld one to it. Tongue length on this isn't too bad. You know, I kind of wish I had an extra foot, but one reason why I did pick up this trailer is because it has a swing tongue. So I got it fully extended right now. This was a really important piece of the kayak that I was honestly going to do to a kayak that I pick up anyway. So it's really nice. This one's actually welded on. It's super solid. With the length of the kayak and the trailer, I do keep this in the garage. So I need to have space to walk around, obviously. You know, I don't want to cross over this every single time. And with the motor on the back and the mount, you know, it sticks really far back. So now I can easily just pull that out and just rotate it all the way. As you can see, I cleared about 20 more inches so now I can pull this trailer forward towards the garage door and actually have room in the back and I guess also in the front to walk around. One thing I did notice is that the gap that holds this front tongue is a little stiff, so I'm probably gonna sand down a couple of the sides just so that's a little bit smoother. You know, just little things like that is expected on something like this. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know, just my bare hands, I know that I can make this trailer right. And with that, we can actually move this trailer up and clear a little bit room to walk around. It did come with a relatively new tongue jack, so that's always nice that that's one thing I don't need to buy. One of the things I need to do is paint this fender, redo it. It's just bare metal right now. So I'm gonna sand it, prime it, and then paint it black so that it matches the trailer, but overall good shape. These things are pretty strong. I think I can actually stand on that if I wanted to, but obviously we want to make sure everything's kept in good shape. This trailer came with like four foot bunks on them. You know, they're just two by threes, nothing crazy. It kind of works with this kayak. They're actually a little too far apart. I've tried moving them a little bit closer on the other side of the post that they're mounted to. 
and then it was too far inside. So we're gonna redo this. I've actually done a little bit of shopping. So we do got some EMT conduit piping. This is two inch, they're 10 feet long. I'm gonna pretty much use these as the bunks. I need to figure out a person to weld these or bracket so that I can put it to the trailer and make sure that it is stable for the long run. So anybody local to me knows how to weld and do that sort of metal fabrication, let me know, could use the help. Like I said, this trailer is not perfect. It does have a busted tail light. So I will be replacing that. I do have it and I'll show you guys in a little bit. It did come with this metal mesh on the trailer. I assume it was probably to strap like a spare jack or something to it. Maybe I might put a little cover on top and you know make it a little compartment to hold stuff. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that but it's kind of neat that it's there. Another thing that I found was that the ground on this is broken. Lights still work and everything, but that's definitely something we're gonna replace as well. One of the other things I'll probably do instead of cutting up the tongue of this trailer is I'll probably get a hitch extender. There's some that are like 12 or 18 inches. For something like this, which is a relatively light load, I think it'll be okay. So that's probably gonna be a plan just so I can extend that tongue a little bit longer. Extending the tongue out will allow me to kind of see the trailer a little bit better when I make turns, but also give me a little bit of space for when I do truck camp in the bed of my truck. You know, having the space between the truck and the trailer is nice to have so that I can drop the tailgate down and you know cook out of the back during the season. One of the things that needs to be done to this trailer is have a bow stop. So I'm trying to source one out right now, they're pretty expensive. So I'm trying to find a used one. Pretty much looking for something pretty simple, a post where I can have a winch on it so that I can easily pull this kayak up if I can't put the trailer in the water all the way. You know, some ramps are just super shallow and obviously an actual bow stop, you know, I think one that just clamps like that along it so that the bow is secured. If anybody knows where I can find one for pretty cheap, let me know, something definitely I need for this trailer. The kayak does stick out the back of the trailer a little too much for my liking, but that's the reason why I have that 10 foot EMT conduit piping so that I can support the kayak a little bit farther back. I think with that, it should be okay. But yeah, that is the trailer, you know, I think the first thing I need to do is redo all the wiring. So I do got all new LED tail lights, but the best part is it does have a reverse light function, you know, just a little bit extra light when I do back up, it's always nice to have. But that also means I need to redo the wiring on this trailer. So this is the new one I got with it. The original trailer harness is a four prong, so I'll need to switch to the five so that I can run those backup lights. Obviously a few little things that I had to purchase, you know, like an adapter. So this is a seven way to a five way adapter that I'll need for my truck because they don't naturally come with five way plugs. The nice thing about redoing all the wiring on this is that I can add extra lighting. So I have these rock lights from Amazon. They seem like they're in pretty good condition. Reviews seem good, but these are gonna be actual additional backup lights for the kayak. You know, we back down these trailers to some pretty dark places. Some of the launches are very narrow. So having all the lighting behind me, so I know I don't back this trailer or the kayak into a rock or a tree. It's gonna be nice to have something like this. I will have two extra of these, so I might put these underneath just so that I have some lighting underneath the trailer for rigging and all that type of stuff too. The other thing that this trailer didn't come with is side marker lights. So I got those on the way. LED, of course, so that they're bright enough. Don't want people, you know, not seeing the trailer behind me and, you know, ramming it off the road or whatever. So obviously you need that to be legal, but also safety as well. Another key piece of this build is being able to tie it down. So picked this off Amazon is a cargo buckle. Pretty self-explained to use. It's a typical ratchet strap, you know. I'll have this mounted to the trailer and I'll be able to go put this over the kayak onto the other side, strap it down. Something simple and something easy to do, you know, just to make sure the kayak's secured. There are times where I may launch at one spot and want to move to the next, so I definitely want to be quick and efficient whenever I can. And this will definitely help when it comes to situations like that. And obviously fabricating those bunks to make it work for this kayak. I've seen plenty of videos where they kind of have the back end kick out at an angle so that you can easily load the kayak on top. There's just a little bit wider space. My plan is to take it over to a muffler shop and have them bend that out, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 degrees or whatever it is. And then of course, finding a way to fabricate those brackets so that I can weld it to the trailer and make sure that it is 
rigid. But yeah, that will be the next build series for this channel. Super excited for this. I love doing this type of stuff. Obviously, if you've seen the videos from the kayak, you know, I like to get hands on with this stuff and do everything myself. The big thing about that is just knowing that everything is done properly. And if something does happen, I know how to diagnose it myself. But yeah, super excited for this. With everything on the kayak, I do need a wet launcher this year. And that's the reason why I picked up this trailer. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you can be up to date on this build and kind of see the transformation from how it is now and when it's finished. Make sure you smash that like button so that my videos can reach out to more people like yourself who enjoys this sort of content. As always, I appreciate you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.